You're off your rocker, Pete. You know that. Oi, get back here. Shit. What is it? Just run, you idiot. Bollocks. Over there. Come on, down here. No, Pete. There's a train. Peter. Just don't stop. Come on, this way. See ya. <sighs> Come on. <sighs> nice work. What? Huh? You're late. Uh. Hi? You were supposed to be here 20 minutes ago. I gave you clear instructions. Anyway, come on. We can probably still make it if you're quick. What are you talking about? Hang on, Pete. Hey, mate, can you get us out of here? What? Are you kidding? Didn't you hear me? We don't have time for this. Either you're coming or piss off. But don't expect a refund. This isn't a charity. Guess we're going with him then. That thing's radioactive! Get back! Chicken. Sam! Oh my god. It's now or never, son! They're over there! So be it. Wait! You're nicked. The other one's through that door! Gotcha! No. I don't believe it.
station is Salt Cellar Lane. Just give me a sec and we'll be out of here. Ready when you are. I did my lunch already, so you don't need to worry about that. And I know you said I couldn't have crisp sandwiches, but I put ketchup on it, so it's one of my five a day. Oh, and before I forget, you know I asked you to sign my homework diary. Well, you don't need to worry about that anymore. I managed to forge your signature. By the way, a friendly reminder, there's nothing in the freezer. Can you go to the shop? Maybe get some of that new mouthwash while you're there. You know, the one with the picture of the dragon on the bottle. It's the best one because it shows all the bits of bad breath in the sink when you spit it out. Dad, can I get an electric toothbrush for my birthday? My friend Dylan has one. He said it's really fun, like going on the car wash, but in your mouth. Maybe we could share it with two different brush heads, obviously. 
You need a new toothbrush anyway. Your one has hairs all over it. And it looks as flat as a pancake. Dad, how come I have hair and you don't? You have some, but it's in the shape of a horse. Will I have horseshoe hair when I'm older? Right, ready to leave. Phone, Dad. Oh, give it a buzz for me, Mo. Calling. Sorry, love. Let's go. Let me check the post. The last one downstairs is the rotten turnip. I don't want to be a turnip, rotten or otherwise. Just bills and some posts for that man, Jack. What's the deal with Jack's post always coming to us? Well, the postman must think we're the same person. Same initials and surname, I guess. Mind if we drop it off before we leave? Let's do it! So, chicken dippers for dinner? Well, maybe something a bit more nutritious. I was thinking couscous. Wow, get you, Jamie Oliver. Jack. Oh, hey. These came to me again. They're for you. Ah, oh, nice. Cool. Yeah, cheers. Jack, your clothes look mental. <laughs> what? No, they're not. Mm, they are a bit. They're so tight. Doesn't your will get pinched? <laughs> Funny kid. Anyway, I have to go. Uh, nice seeing you both. Uh, do you have any posts for us? Yeah, hand it over. Stealing posts is a crime. Ah, uh, yeah, I do. Here you go. Sorry, it's a bit of a pile. Some of these are two months old. You messed up, Jack. Anyway, um, I've really got to run. Don't give yourself a wedgie. That boy's away with the fairies. I like him. Promise me you won't turn out like that. Don't worry, Dad. Your daughter's a super genius. Good. Now remember, I get your first million. Why don't you and Jack be friends? You don't have any friends. Shazzy is my friend. Yeah, but she's a work friend. You need cooler friends. Friends who jog and have stupid hair. There's plenty of those idiots down the gym. But you don't go to the gym. 
You were kidding about the couscous, right? You're going to turn into a chicken dipper one of these days. And then they'll lock me up. Well, that's silly. I think some of these letters are from social services again. Don't worry. If they send one of those people around again, I'll shoot them with a machine gun, then push them down the rubber chute. Right, see you later then, nuisance. Don't forget dinner. Yeah, I made a mental note. Bye, Dad. Fancy seeing you here. Yep. Whereabouts do you work? Sorry, mate, what with that? Just making small talk. Sorry, I'm being rude. Don't worry. See you around. Idiots! Oh, phone! That's expensive stuff! Are you guys alright? The screen smashed. Do you know how expensive these are? I'm sorry about him. Let me uh, let me help you out. Get away from my stuff, thief! I'm just trying to help. <laughs> Give me your arm. You two, you two, you two. You were made for each other. Hang on, were we just... Sorry, mate. Oh, gotta go. Right.
What time do you call this? Sorry, I um, got held up. Oh, never mind that. I need your advice on something. Let's hear it. So, I met Darren again last night. You know, the one with the funny ears. Captain Spock. Anyway, he invited me back to his last night. Finally! Nice work. Has he texted you since? Oh, John. Bless. No one texts back that quick. So are you going to that drinks thing on Thursday? Hang on. What happened with Darren? I'll fill you in on that later. Please say you'll come out. You're the only one I can talk to. It's at that expensive cocktail bar, right? Nah, no, I think I'll pass. Oh well, you will be missed. Morning, or should I say afternoon? It's only just gone nine. 9.02 by my watch. Synced to Big Ben. Is he serious? Careful, sunshine. Don't forget who's in charge around here. You're our supervisor, not our prison warden. <laughs> now all I can think about is Shaz in handcuffs. Do you even do any work round here? If you knew the pressure I'm under to hit the new targets, the fact I'm keeping it together is a miracle. We all have targets. Oh, he's popped up, hasn't he? You better wind your neck in. Don't forget you're on report for all those days off. Yeah, because he was in hospital. Shaz, that's tragic. Come on. Print, you bastard! Hello, welcome to Technical Support. To help us with your query, in your own words, please describe your problem. Can I speak to a human, please? Thanks. Did you say you would like to refer a friend? Supervisor! 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 I'll put you through to one of our support team advisors. Finally! We are currently experiencing a high number of calls. You are number 164 in the queue. Please hold. Alright, 5.30. Let's get out of here. John, mate, where do you think you're going? Um, I'm going home. It's 5pm. I think we're entitled. Didn't you get my email? I marked it as important. You couldn't have missed it. Uh, I didn't see an email from you. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, long story short, there's been a bit of a foul-up. Anyway, I need the Royal Oak files completed by the start of tomorrow. I think it can keep. Hmm, no can do. The big man upstairs says it's tomorrow or your department is in deep doo-doo. I'll stick around and help you out. Well, it's John's case is. I don't think we should set a precedent of sharing out work. Well, I guess I'd better get back to my desk then. What about Molly? I'll get a sitter. You go home. Good lad. All right. Well, if you're sure, I'll see you outside Molly's school tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Shaz. 
And remember, it's a school night, so don't get up to too much trouble. Ugh. You never sent an email, did you? Shit rolls downhill, mate. You forgot dinner, didn't you? Oh, I'll fix us something. I'll throw some things together. I think there's some jelly in the fridge. All right, let's have that then. It's kind of late for you to get back. I've been here since three o'clock. Well, do you want me to get a childminder in future? Yes. You don't need a childminder. And anyway, we can't afford one. Well, I did my homework. Do you want to check it? Yeah, just, just let me rest my eyes for five minutes and then I'll sort out food and then I'll take a look at your homework. All right? Sorry. I think I overslept again. Wait a minute. Where am I? Molly? Molly, are you here? What the hell is all this stuff? Where the hell am I? What's up with my voice? My body feels weird.
station is Cobbett Square. Fives. Go fish! No! <gasps> Slipping out without saying goodbye. Can I go out? Have you done your homework? Dotted every I, crossed every T. You can check if you want. Liar. Can I go out, Mum? Of course, Puddin. Say hello to Vivek for me. Would it kill you to spend some time with your family for once? What are you going to do, Emma? Arrest me? <laughs> Take the uniform off. It's so daft. I think you look very handsome. Handsome? You look very tidy, dear. What you see in my sister, I don't know, Ash. Oh, I guess I'm just stuck with her at this point. Off you go, then. Text me when you're on your way home, love.
bet you five pounds I could hit that car over there with a rock or something. Go on then. Nah, what if the alarm goes off? Too scared. No, I just don't want to upset the neighbours. You don't shit where you eat. Oh, lovely. Hey, Donna. Hey, you got here quick. Not working at the Godfather tonight? Nah, Dad's had to close down for a few days. Right in the deep fat fryer again. You've spiked the batter, haven't you? <laughs> Nothing that exciting. Just a dodgy batch of scampi. Gave some people a runny bottom. Well, there goes that Michelin star. Never a dull moment in the Chowdhury household. Are you both finished? Did you see that guy just then? The one with the pretty lady? Pretty lady, eh? I've been watching him from my window for a few nights now. Bit creepy. Internet porn not enough for you? I keep seeing him bringing home different girls. Boys too. Vivek, I'd have hoped your parents would have taught you about this. Let me explain the birds and the bees. That's not the weird part. He brings them home, but I've not seen one of them leave. What are you saying? Well, I've had my suspicions for a while, but I'm now pretty convinced. I think he's building a guerrilla army. Could be kidnap. International slave trade? Weird sex thing, I imagine. Oh yeah, I hadn't considered that. Probably a sex thing, yeah. We should play Knockdown Ginger on him. Let's see if he's on Tinder. No way. We've got to be all forensic and stuff. Covert surveillance, like your sister. I don't think Emma would know the meaning of covert. Getting bored. Want to do some gas? Oh, sweet. I'm up for that. Okay, Becky. What would you rather do? Be put in prison for 10 years, but when you come out you get 20 million pounds, tax free. Or, get the 20 mil up front, but you die when you're 35. What are you on about? Come on, which one would you take? I wouldn't take either, they both sound shit. No, you have to. Probably take the 20 million up front, live it up on a yacht. But you die when you're 35. Yeah, I know. Like, a really horrible, slow death. Okay, fine. I'll go to prison then. But it's solitary confinement for the entire time. That's okay. And you don't have a bed to sleep on. Just a stone floor with loads of spiders about. You're just adding stuff to make it worse. Yeah. 
Check it out. Freaky dude's back and he's all alone. Not this again. Let's see what he's up to. No way! I don't want to be turned into a human kebab. He is pretty fit. Always thinking about boys. Of course. Let's follow him. I want his number. When he makes high concept art out of your body parts, don't say I didn't warn you. Look lively, Codfather. The catch of the day is getting away. You know, he's probably meeting with his superiors in the guerrilla army. Still entertaining the guerrilla army theory, then? Yeah, I'm coming round to it again. Poor fellows, probably just ran out of condoms. Should have bought bulk online. Could have saved himself a walk. You can get condoms in the loo at the ploughman's arms. He's actually pretty good looking for a deranged killer. I can't deny, he's one handsome man. Almost as pretty as you, hun. Ah, oh, make a boy blush. This has echoes of Viv's other conspiracy theories. Uh, wake up, sheeple. There are crazy things going on in this city. All those three months when he went full flat earther. On that occasion, I was just a victim of fake news. Never been to this part of town before. Me neither. Handsome guy's heading for that old building. Guerrilla army's still not off the table. Building looks big enough to be a fortress. Places are fallen down. Maybe he owns the place. You could probably make a fortune converting that into flats. Okay, but what about all those people he's been disappearing? They're probably all inside having fun. What do you think, Becky? Shall we take a look? I'm game. You two are mental. What are you going to do? Just walk through the front door. I think there's another way in. 
that then? One of those top floor windows are open. Guess we can climb those boxes. Imagine the likes. Oh, I can't shoot it from here. Let me find the right position. <laughs> Run, you fellas! Wait, you guys! Guys, I'm stuck! You guys, help! What the hell have you done? What do you mean? He was going to attack Donna. Have you killed him? A little appreciation here. I just saved your life. Dude, bollock naked. He's not dead, is he? He's got superpowers. He probably can't be killed. We need to tell someone. Whoa, hang on there. Let's not make any rash decisions. I'm not getting in trouble for this. This was your dumb idea. Donna, what if your sister finds out about this? Well, what do we do then? We need to move him. Let's get him inside, out of sight. <sighs> that should hold him for now. Thank God he's still breathing. Okay, so what next? We can't leave. Our fingerprints will be all over this place. So what? It's not as if our fingerprints are on file anywhere. Come on, Donna. They'll be on the secret government database. Besides, he got a real good look at you. He'll be able to identify you to the police. We can't let him go. For the time being, he has to stay here.
Emma? Where the hell are you? Tell me this instant! What's wrong? I'm still out with Vivek and Becky. Well, I'm at Vivek's right now and you're nowhere to be seen. Oh, cool. We can walk back together then. Uh, that'll be nice. Uh, it won't be a minute. Donna. Donna, don't you dare hang up on me. Well? Emma is looking for us. Your sister? Yeah, she thinks I'm at Vivex. She's there now. Emma's at the Codfather. You need to fix this, Donna. She can't come here. We'll go to prison. Oh, shit. Well, Becky, if she does come here, you've always got the option of knocking her out, too. Shh! Why are you shing us, Viv? I was trying to get you to stop saying our names. Oh, no. He's awake. Do you value all human life? Some more than others? Are there circumstances where it's appropriate to deceive a loved one or partner? Sure. Everyone lies. And to take the life of a loved one? Sure, if that's what it takes. Are you capable of suicide? I've been known to, but only after a few drinks. Please be cooperative, Miss Hughes. What is your greatest fear? That this interview will never end. Are you afraid of answering questions? Come on, ask a real one. If you were to be sent on a long trip, how long could you be away from your normal life? What do you mean? We mean your life outside of work. Your attachments, your family. However long is needed. Even years. What if the trip was indefinite? Is it? Thank you, Miss Hughes. We appreciate your time. That'll be all for now. Got me on speed dial. You got a spare hour or two? I may have. I'm coming over.
Hey, Mina. Excuse me, I'm quite busy. I I'm Amy, Amy Ung. I'm pretty new here. I can understand why you wouldn't remember me. I am going to need to get past at some point. Oh, sorry. You're a big deal around here. I, I thought maybe you could give me some tips. I read your Operation Bloodhound report at Sandhurst. You know they use you as a case study there, as an example of how to keep a clear head under extreme pressure. Okay. Since then I've been doing a lot of meditation. I think it helps a lot, you know? Oh, what am I saying? You don't need me to tell you that. Sorry, are we going the same way? Anyway, I've uh, been with the company about 18 months now, just transferred over from the Gibraltar office. Have you been stationed there before? Sorry, that's a stupid question. Uh, there's good work being done over there at the moment, but obviously it's nothing compared to HQ. I'm really lucky to get the opportunity to work down here. Hey, maybe we'll end up working together at some point. It would be great to shadow you, to learn from the best. Right. I've heard so much about you. It's an honour to meet the legend in person. Are you taking the lift too? Oh, no. It's been lovely to meet you. Bye. So. See you've met Amy. Is that her name? Promising recruit, that one. She doesn't know where to shut up. <laughs> She's getting fast tracked. What? Blasted thing. Fast tracked where? The most intelligent people in the world working here, and we can't even get a lift to operate reliably. What department? Advanced Dynamics, your section. So I'm her boss? No. About bloody time. She'll be reporting to me for the time being. I want to oversee her progress directly. What's your interest in her? I've decided to include Amy in the selection process, same as you. I hear she performed very well. Let's see who comes out on top. I think this is your stop, Hughes. Sir.
come for a checkup, have you? <laughs> Very good. Can't get enough of my sensitive bedside manner. Okay, wrap it up so we can get on with this. Hey, just having a bit of fun. Save it for the bedroom. Fun starts upstairs. Are you right, babe? Yeah, I just need to sit down for a moment. Long day. One that you can't wait to end. Oh, my babe's saving the world again, is she? You make me sound like a superhero. Well, you could be for all I know. Anything I can help with. Sure. Can you disappear one of my colleagues? I need a professional. Can't trace back to me. Oh. How about a back rub instead? Yeah, I'll have one of those. But later. Is Dylan asleep? Mm -mm. I'll let him wait up for you. Make sure he's reading and not watching TV. I'll go say goodnight. Hey, Dylan. Hi. Is everything all right? Yeah, just reading. How's Grandad? What? Oh, yeah, he's fine. I told him about your 200 meter swimming badge. He was very proud. 500 meters, Mum. I got my 200 meter badge ages ago. Why do you always forget this stuff? Oh, sorry. You're just getting too fast at getting these badges. It's hard to keep track. Dad said you'll come and watch me do my 750 metres. Please say you'll come this time. You missed the 400 and the 300. Everyone else's mum's come. But I came to the 200, didn't I? Don't worry, I'll be there. OK, now it's getting late. Time for bed. 
Oh, come on. Can't I stay up until nine? Dad always lets me stay up a little longer if I'm reading. Not when I'm here, he doesn't. Come on, be good now. You need your sleep. Fine. Previously on Last Stop. Dad! I know, I'm running late. Let me get sorted, I'll be quick. What's the deal with Jack's post always coming to us? Uh, do you have any post for us? Oh, yeah, I do. You know? You see that? Couldn't even bother to bring me my damn post. I like him. Are you guys alright? You too, you too. We're made for each other. Molly, you're okay. Are you here to see my dad? I think he's sick. Wait, I'm your dad. Uh, no, you're Jack. Jack? I do look like him and that was his flat. Why are you being so weird? Have you got some more of our post or something? Can you let me in? I think I need to speak to your, um, dad. Okay, I guess you're not a stranger. He's locked himself in his bedroom. I'll go and talk to him. Oh God! Oh God, what the hell has happened to me? Jack? Please say that's you in there. What the hell's going on? Why do I look like a terrible, fat old man? All right. Tone it down a notch. My daughter's out here. Who the hell are you? Why do you sound like me? Just open the door. Jesus H. Christ! You've stolen my body! I haven't done anything. Do you think I've got a clue what's going on? Wait. I thought I recognised this face in the mirror. If this is your body, that must make you the bloke who brings the post! Seriously? My name's John. We've met like ten times. Look, this is not important right now. Shut up! No! What the hell are you doing? Your dad's a little bit unwell. So I'm going to take you to school. That's alright, isn't it? Sure. What's wrong with my dad? 
Oh, it's fine. He just hit his head on the sink, you know, when he was cleaning his teeth. I told him to have a little lie down. But Mr Gilbert said if you have concussion you shouldn't sleep because you might not wake up again. Yeah, well, sometimes all you need to do is go to sleep and everything will be fine in the morning. That's what Dad says when he got a hangover. Is Dad going to have to go to hospital again? No. He'll be back to normal in no time. Just... He has to go to the doctor about his heart sometimes. Trust me, Mole. He'll be fine. You've never called me Mole before. Will you make sure Dad's OK when I'm at school? He can't have fried food. He isn't allowed. Well, I'm just going to pop home after this to check on him. Or cheesecake. He'll ask you for it by saying no. Hey, Molly. Hello, whoever you are. Hey, Shaz. This is Jack. Hello, Jack. Molly, where's your dad? He hit his head on the sink and has concussion. Oh, my God! So, Jack brought me to school while he sleeps it off. Thanks for that colourful interpretation there. He, he's, he's fine, he's just a bit ill. Who are you again? I told you, he's Jack. You're going to be late for school, Molly. OK. OK, what's really happened to John? And why the hell are you taking his daughter to school? OK, I can explain. You better. I'm calling the police. I'm, um, John's cousin. Right. Why don't I believe you? Test me if you like. Ask me something that only someone close to John would know. I'm not playing games. Please. Well, what's John's mum called? Roberta Smith. Biggest phobia? Black cats. Terribly superstitious. You really John's cousin? It's a complicated story. Look, I'm, I'm glad I bumped into you, actually. He asked whether you could tell Clive he won't be in today. He's going to be in the shit for that. But sure, I can tell him. Thanks, Shaz. Uh, Sh Shazia. I appreciate it. John's so fragile. I often say he could use some help around the house. Well, not that fragile. Right. You're not going to scream at me again, are you? He's done a runner. Jack, what the hell? Do you know this guy? Amy, it's me! I'm Jack! He's my crazy uncle. Sorry, I'm pretty sure he's high. How does he know my name? 
He's lying. Amy, it's me. We've been friends forever. Oh, uh, I guess I told him about you. Why? What did you tell him? Oh, you know, that you're a good friend. That I can open up to you and you'll listen. Yeah, you're a good listener. Well done for listening. Your favourite ice cream's rum and raisin. Your favourite sport is basketball. You secretly smoke, but you'll never tell anybody. Shut up! Did you seriously tell him all this shit about me? No. I, um, keep a diary. And he read it. The bastard. Oh well, I'll look after him. Why don't you go to, uh... Work? Don't go! Amy! Amy, help me! I need your help! Yeah, you go to work. Come on, Jack. I, I mean, John. Let's get you home. Yeah. Bye. Amy! Jack! Stay away from me. You've done this. You've put a spell on me or something. You're evil. Hang on a minute. We're both in exactly the same situation. Notice how much calmer I am. Now stop so we can talk about this. Just leave me alone. God, my body feels so weird. Jesus, don't you ever exercise? Yeah, that's my body telling you to slow the hell down. I can't even look at you! This is so messed up. It's the same for me as it is for you, you know. Come on. I'll buy you a coffee. Have you got any idea how this might have happened? No. Oddly enough, this is my first time swapping bodies. Something would have triggered this. Something that connects the two of us. Something spiritual. Or witchcraft. No, I don't believe in any of that crap. Jesus. What are they going to say at work? Well, I'm you, right? I've got your phone here. Let me call in sick for you. Actually, not a bad idea. Okay, look for Sonia in my contacts. She's the receptionist at work. Tell her I got the squits or something. Maybe I'll improvise. Okay, it's ringing. Super Fab Games, Sonia speaking. Sonia, it's Jack. Not gonna be in today. I've got the shits. Skyver. No worries, I'll tell Derek. Enjoy your lion. Thanks. I will. Done. Yeah. So you're safe. Hey, hang on a minute, your phone's buzzing. Answer it. Say you're me. Uh, hello? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Who was it? It was your daughter's school. I said to let them know in future if you plan to keep Molly home for the day. Such an idiot. I shouldn't have taken her to school. She must have been so confused about everything. Well, you did drop her off in my body. I mean, she possibly thought that was a little bit weird. Shut up and help me look for her. Hey, relax. Look, she's probably just in the park, right? Playing on the swings, like, you know, like a kid. But you need to chill out. She does like the swings. Okay, let's try there first. It feels seriously weird being you. Ugh, everything jiggles about as I move. Can you focus on the matter at hand? My daughter may have been kidnapped. Mate, she's probably just drinking cider behind a tree somewhere. She's eight. Huh. Oh. Alcohol-free cider?
Molly, thank goodness you're all right. Oh, hi, Jack. Nice to see you. This is going to take some explaining. So I didn't go to school. Am I in trouble? What? Nah, we're cool. No worries. Uh, I think I'll do the parenting, thank you very much. Why are you both being so weird? Dad, I was worried you were poorly, so I wanted to go home. But then I got scared you'd be angry. Are you going to tell her or am I? There's something we need to talk to you about. Let's get you home. How come Jack's here? I think you should ask John that. I, I, I mean, Jack. We have something to tell you that affects all three of us. Is it about our post? So, something seems to have happened last night where... Um, how would you describe it? Our brains have got swapped. Well, I guess that's to the point. OK, something happened, we're not sure what, but it does mean that I, your dad, now lives in this body. Jack's. Basically, I'm Jack and he's John. You've swapped brains? Yes. And you're my dad? Yeah. And this isn't a joke? No. OK. Chicken dippers. Solid dinner choice, John. They're the business. So, what happens now? I guess we figure out how to fix this. Sure. Got any ideas? Dad, you've got a sauce down your front. That shirt's limited edition. So I have. That's a shame, isn't it? Don't worry, Jack. Plenty of my clothes have got all sorts of stains on them. You both look a bit of a stain. You should dress each other up properly. It's true. We need to swap wardrobes. OK, let's see what I've got to work with. She's a smart kid. She is. How do you put up with feeling out of breath all the time? By avoiding as much physical exertion as possible. I don't know how my clothes look so bad when you wear them. <laughs> We're going to have to perform a wardrobe transplant on you. Go and get some clothes from the wardrobe in my bedroom. Right, well, it's been quite a day. I should probably be getting to bed soon. Well, you can't stay here. <laughs> of course I can. It's my place. I thought we went over this. For all intents and purposes, you are me. The neighbours will ask questions if I'm walking Molly to school every day. So what are you saying? You want me to move in? I'm sorry. None of this is ideal. <laughs> the more I think this through, the more problems there are. What about work? I can't keep calling in sick. I'm guessing you have a job too. So what do we do? On Monday, we're going to have to cover for each other. I'm going to have to pretend to be you, and you're going to have to pretend to be me. Previously on Last Stop. Are you right, babe? Yeah, just had a long day. My babe's saving the world again, is she? The most exciting desk job there is. So you've met Amy. Is that her name? She's getting fast-tracked. What? 
and I've decided to include Amy in the selection process. Let's see who comes out on top. Dad. Oh, How's life inside the military industrial complex? Blown up any babies with your death robots this week? No, sorry. But hey, maybe when you overthrow the government, you can have me thrown in the gulag. That might cheer you up. All I see in the news these days is robots. Robots killing people, robots taking jobs, robots having sex with people. You know, in my day, we'd have balloted if someone tried to give a job to a bloody robot. Strong industrial action is what we need. Did you get your test results back from Dr. Lund? That's another thing that's gone to the dogs. The state of the health service in this country! It's a bit stuffy in here. Should we get some air? Nini, you're just trying to shut me up? Well, I won't fall for it. I guess I'll feed the pigeons without you, then. Hmm. Well, don't dawdle. Lead on. Why do I never get to see my grandson? Because you terrify the poor kid. <laughs> Nonsense. I'm just trying to correct all the rubbish you put in his head. You're determined to make my life difficult, aren't you? Been growing anything in your allotment? Bastards took it away from me. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Dare I ask why? The fascists closed ranks and forced me out. Didn't have the stomach for my radical proposals. And there it is. Here you go, comrades. Get your beaks around this manky old bread. Dad, I wanted to ask something. I call these two Tony and Alistair. Mangy old bear. Did you or Mum ever have a... affair? What? I'm not gonna judge. It's fine. I'm sure all marriages have their difficult moments. Where did you get that idea? Our marriage was strong. Your mother shone like gold. You know, she saw the beauty in all things, Nini. No matter how cracked and broken. <laughs> Spending 40 years seeing the world through her eyes was a privilege. She was always so patient with us. Do you remember that mobile we made together? The <laughs> one I tore down in a strop. Seabirds of the British Isles. I got it from the RSPB. Oh, your mother loved coming here to feed the birds. You know, everything took a turn for the worse when she left us. It did, didn't it? You had a loving family. <laughs> I don't know why you turned out like you did. It's getting chilly. We should get you back inside. 
<laughs> Not enough of me, I see. Okay. Take me home. I, uh, imagine you're in a hurry to get back to work. No, I'm done for the day. Good. You'll have time for a couple then. I had Julia come round here the other day. You know, Julia from the book club. Anyway, she was trying to get me to sponsor her boy to climb some hill in South America. Can you believe the cheek of it? What does climbing a mountain, let alone traveling all the way to Argentina, have to do with charity? They've got it the wrong way around. I'm not paying for someone to have a lavish holiday. Who do they think they are? It's an insult, to be honest. And if you want a holiday, you can have a weekend in Wales like the rest of us. I'll have a little more sugar. Keep it coming. A little more. Seriously. Nini, fetch the chocolate biscuits. What is this? Absolutely stupid! Put it away, walking around in other people's business. What the hell are you doing with drugs in your flat? Oh, stop in such a wet blanket. They're therapeutic. You know, I use them scientifically. And I thought I was the screw-up in this family. They're psychedelics. Safer than riding a bus, you know? I take them to broaden my mind. Did someone sell you these? Oh, so the stuffed shirt is taking an interest, huh? You want some too? Try one of mine if you like. Stop joking around. I'm dead serious. Who sold these to you? Oh. You wouldn't believe the things I've seen, Nini. A bizarre city in the middle of the desert with strange beings with, with red and green skin and a huge flower with glowing walls. Ha <laughs> ha, trippy, huh? Tell me who sold these to you or I swear I'm going to walk out right now. Calls himself Spider. He was very easy to find. I looked him up online at the library. Here. I'll write down his phone number. I'll come back and check on you soon. Don't do any more of that junk. Oh, yes, yes, Chad, leave me be.
can I help you? Hello. I don't think we've met before. You're Wendy, aren't you? Right. I'm Mina, your dad's friend. I know who you are. Oh. Good. Well, going anywhere nice? Nope. Okay. Well, I better go. It was lovely to meet you. Sure. I like your wedding ring, by the way. Hey, you. Didn't expect to see you today. Did you tell your daughter I'm married? Is that a problem? How much does she know? I don't keep secrets from her. She's a grown-up girl. Ah, oh, well. I'd probably hate me in her shoes. <laughs> probably. <laughs> you asshole! Get in the house. I want to take you upstairs. What? Hello, Mr. Spider. Good to meet you. How are you? Is this a wind-up or something? I got your number from a friend. I'm looking for some gear. I don't know what you're talking about. Really? You sure you're not Spider? Come to the alley off Cherry Tree Lane in about 30 minutes. Are you the bird on the phone? Who else would I be? Let's do this then. What are you after? Okay. Shut up and pay attention. You've had a good run. You've made a bit of money. But you're done. You're not going to be selling any more of that crap around here. And if I learn otherwise, I'm going to get nasty. <laughs> you what? A bit thick, aren't you? Which part do you want me to repeat? Or do you need it handwritten in block capitals? Maybe I can email it to you. Got some mouth on you. Jog on, love, before I take it to heart. Oh, Spider. You're such a weak, pathetic little man. You serious?
Ow, yeah, that's my arm. <sighs> Gavin Briggs, flat 114, Oriel House, the Phyllis. Very nice. You've done well for yourself. Oh, Gavin. Do you think you could try to be a little bit better behaved? Yeah. Beg pardon? Yes, absolutely. Good boy. I'm gonna keep hold of this license, just in case I ever need to hand it in to the authorities. You're not the police? Who the hell are you? Do what I say and you won't need to find out. Now get lost. No woman disrespects Spider. You've got bare bad things coming your way. Having fun with your extracurricular activities. What, what are you talking about? You know, all the extra work you've been doing. You should be getting paid overtime for working so hard, so late. Why do you always have to work late, Mum? <laughs> I feel like I'm being ganged up on here. Mum has a really important job. It's like a big competition where the best win. And Mum is the best. You're the best as well. Certainly the best cook in this family. Right. Bedtime. Oh, really? Yep. Come on, Dylan. I'll tuck you in. Oh, Dad, can't you do it? Listen to your mum. No, that's quite all right. Let him make his own choices. Good night, Dylan. I'm going to have to cancel tonight. Why? What's wrong? You know what? I think Dan's getting suspicious. So what do you want to do? <sighs> I can meet you tomorrow evening. Q3D, we're dedicated to making your life easier. Automation, machine learning, blockchain security. You can put your trust in Q3D. Q3D, seizing the future. Hughes, you didn't disappoint. I had a look through your examination results. They're very strong. Well, thank you very much, sir. I am ready to take on the challenge. Not quite yet. I want to give Amy another shot. We're going to do another round of interviews. Just the two of you. Uh, sir, with respect, I am the far more qualified candidate. This assignment means a great deal to me. There's a long personal history attached to this. You can understand why I want to be absolutely sure I have the right person. Why her, though? I'm not afraid of a little competition. Okay. 
you're going to witness an annihilation. There she is. Previously on Last Stop. Did you see that guy just then? I keep seeing him bringing home different girls, but I've not seen one of them leave. Let's follow him. I want his number. Holy shit! Get a video of this! <laughs> Um, here she is. Right. This is not on. You told Mum you'd text her. You didn't. You said you'd be at Vivek's house. You weren't. We were worried about you, Donna. Is everything okay? Just a moment, Ash. I'm not finished. Where the hell were you, Donna? Where are your friends? What prevented you giving us even a courtesy text? I know. I'm a screw-up. I had to come out here this late. I have work in the morning. Mum's got enough on her plate. You were out with Vivek again, right? Where is he? He's still at youth club. You're lying! Again! I wonder how Vivek's dad feels about his son staying out all hours. Why don't I ask him while we're here? I bet he'll appreciate me knocking on his door in the middle of the night. What? Are you serious? Babe, it's pretty late. Perhaps we should all just go home. Oh, perfect. My fiancé's taking your side now. I don't know what's happened with you, Donna. You're always in your head. You're never at home. You never help around the house. Okay, I get it. I'm a total screw-up. Are you happy now? Let's just talk about this in the morning. Fine. I've done all I can. You two can sort it out amongst yourselves. I know Em can come on a bit strong at times, but she loves you. She has your best interests at heart. Can we change the record, please? I just want to go to bed. You seem a bit anxious. Has something happened? I'm fine. I'm not your sister. I'm not going to ask where you were. 
but you can always tell me if you're in trouble. Really, I'm fine. I love your sister, Donna. I just want us all to be safe and get along. Happy and safe. Got it. You're sure nothing happened tonight? There's nothing... wrong? A hundred percent. Okay. Let's get ourselves home before I get a scolding too. Bill and Wendy are going out together. I thought they were already seeing each other. No, they've been seeing each other for a bit, but now they're actually going out. Bill's such a player. I wonder how long that will last. Thought you guys were dead. How come you didn't text me back? We had to go off the grid. I smashed my phone so they couldn't use my GPS. My phone's out of battery. How did it go with your sister? Oh, she's fine, don't worry. How was it last night? Has he said anything yet? Not a peep. He just sat there staring at us. Pretty weird. I didn't dare sleep. I don't trust Viv's not tying skills. Hey! I can't believe how tired I am. Did you bring any food? How can you think of food right now? We've been here all night. I'm pretty hungry too. Okay, let's get some supplies. We could do with tying the fella up a bit more securely. Cool. Becky, you stay here. Me and Viv will head out. Hang on, that's bullshit. You just got here. How about you stay and me and Viv go? It's cool. I'll watch him. You both go and bring back some food and some zip ties or something. See you when we get back. Come on already. I'm getting hangry. Late one last night, then. What did you and Vivek talk about? You didn't mention anything about me to your sister last night, yeah? Of course not. Just, it was self-defence, yeah? And he's not dead or anything, so it's not even a crime, really? Becky, I didn't say anything. It was Viv's idea to tie him up, and if you hadn't got stuck on that fence or whatever, we wouldn't even be in this situation. Guess we're not going to school today. Screw school, it's the least of our problems. So what are we getting again? Some stuff to tie the guy up with and some sort of weapon. Yeah, uh, why don't you leave the talking to me? As if I would actually say it like that.
Hi, can I have a Stanley knife, uh, a roll of duct tape and a bunch of double thick zip ties? <laughs> How old are you? Should you two be in school? It's a teacher training day. Mm, right. Wear your school uniform every day, do you? All right, you got us. We're bunking school. We're building a computer from scratch and we need some zip ties to hold the cables together and the knife to cut it. Bravo. But you know you have to be 18 to buy a knife. What? You didn't know that? <laughs> Just testing you. All right, we'll take the other stuff. That went well. Oh, it's fine. I nicked all that stuff when we first walked in there, just in case. Oh, you little thief! Come on, let's not hang about. I'm not exactly thrilled about walking around town with all this murder stationery on us. Mr Hughes? What are you two doing here? Why aren't you at school? Ah, yeah. Uh, sorry, we're just running a bit late. Um, Becky uh, wanted some company regarding a medical issue. Nothing serious, just a bit, you know, uh, personal. Right. Thanks, Donna. I take it you got permission to leave the school premises? I'll make a phone call to your form tutors to check, shall I? Donna? Hang on a second. Oh, for pain's sake. Family problems? Look. I don't have time for this. Just get back to school and we'll talk about this another time. Too close. You've got crap chat, that's your problem. Can't you ever say anything nice? I like your smile, Donna. It's really pretty. Come on, let's just get some food and go back. Do you think it would be weird if I asked Vivek out? Whoa! Out of nowhere? Yeah, he's a sweetie. Would it be weird? Oh man, that would be weird. You really gonna ask him out? Yeah, I was thinking about it. Just had such a good time with him last night. What's up? You've gone quiet. What? Don't be weird. What's going on? Fine. Be like that. Oh, we completely forgot to get Viv anything to eat. Oh, just don't mention it to him. He's probably forgotten anyway. Hey! Donna forgot to get you any food. Hey! We both forgot. No worries. Probably should head back anyway. I'll get food at home. If it's any consolation, we did manage to get hold of a box cutter and a bunch of cable ties. Okay. I guess we can tie him up a bit more securely. Okay. He's not going anywhere for now. I think I'll keep hold of that lead pipe all the same. I really need to go. Me too. Need to figure out a good excuse where I've been on the way home. I'll walk with you. Donna, you okay staying here while we're gone? Of course. If he tries anything, I'll do a Becky and smash him over the head again. Nice. We'll be back as soon as we can. I just need to make an appearance for Dad. Did he say anything while you were looking after him? Nope. I did try talking to him, but not a word. Hey, hot stranger. We're going now. Please don't eat our friend. Okay, see you guys later. Bye, Donna. Come on, Viv.
Oh, this is stupid. We should have just called the police last night. Probably would have got away with a caution, maybe an ASBO at most. But I think that ship sailed now, hasn't it? What do you think? Oh, come on, say something. Just so I know you don't have brain damage. Or is that your tactic? To throw me off guard? Yeah, that's your plan, isn't it? To hope that I'll feel guilty and set you free. For what it's worth, I am sorry that you're in this situation. It's not ideal for either of us. Is Becky your friend? So you can speak, and apparently you know Becky. Is Becky your friend? Yeah. I mean, do you know Becky? Of course. Oh, you do? She hit me. She's why I'm with you now. Yep, that's Becky. So you don't really know her then? Could I stretch my legs a moment? Never gonna happen. I would have asked your friends last night, but they were too deep in their own conversation. <laughs> what were they talking about? My legs are stiff. Okay, quit whining. You can stretch your legs as long as you're more cooperative from now on. I can try. Must be out of my mind. <sighs> Hold still. All good? Okay, let's hear it then. What were they talking about? They were very animated with each other. Animated about what? This matters to you, doesn't it? We had a deal, remember? Do you find it difficult opening up to people? What is this therapy? <laughs> Please, I'm getting enough of that from my sister. Emma? How'd you... You mentioned her last night. So you were awake the whole time? No offence, but that's a bit creepy. I'm interested. I'm interested? You know how condescending that sounds? It's exactly the sort of crap Emma would say, just to piss me off. I see. All I did was forget to send a text message and she explodes. Completely over the top. Sounds like you hate her. No, that's a bit much. No, I don't know. Family, eh? You'd be better on your own. What are you saying? I think I'd like to sit down now. Oh. Sure, okay. Can I ask you a question? Of course. Last night, when you made the water glow, what was that? I enjoyed our talk earlier. Stop trying to change the subject. If you promise not to tell anyone, maybe I could show you. Sounds good. Let's see it. Come a little closer. Hey! Come on, what 
What are you waiting for? Uh, are you all right, Donna? Don't mind her. Just show me what you did last night. Okay. Getting a little weird in here. So now you've gone quiet all of a sudden? Because of Becky? Don't worry, she's not going to hurt you. Stop pissing around. It's not funny. We're in some real shit here, Donna. Fine, don't believe me then. Is Viv on his way? No, I texted to say he was in shit with his dad. Oh. I guess that's to be expected. How long are we going to keep this up? Moise is throwing a sick house party tonight. Everyone's going to be there. I guess we should properly talk it through when we're all here. I've got to go, Becky. I'll be back tomorrow. Hey, Ash. Where is everybody? Your mum was feeling a bit poorly, so I took herself to bed. Emma's out at the moment. Guess I missed everyone then. I had to stay behind after school. I'm shattered. Gonna head straight to bed, I think. How was school today? Yeah, it was all right. Pretty good. I thought if you had to stay late, you must have had detention. No, I had netball after school. I'm thinking of trying out for the team. Where's your school bag, Donna? I don't know. Oh, I see you've decided to grace us with your presence. She's been playing netball after school, apparently. Is Mum all right? She's fine. By the way, thanks for cooking dinner tonight. We all really enjoyed it. Well, why is she in bed then? I said she's fine. Uh, perhaps give your sister some space this evening, Donna. Hey, it's a free country. I can do what I like. I have enough to worry about without dealing with you again tonight, Donna. You're late home again. After all the palaver of last night. Oh, I was at the cinema with Becky and Vivek. I thought you said you were playing netball. It's always Becky and Vivek beginning to think they matter more to you than your own family. Oh, sick of this. I'm going out. Where are you going? Oh, none of your damn business! Specs, leave a message. Why is your phone off? Call me back when you get this. I'm on my way over. What are you doing back here? Just checking in. Come on, I'll take over. You go to that party. Seriously? Yeah, don't sweat it. Awesome. Anything interesting happened while I was gone? Nah, you heard from Viv. I wonder if he can make Moises too. I don't care, go and ask him. 
Sounds like you'll both have a great time. I'll give him a call. Phone working now, then. What? I tried calling you earlier. Oh, right. Yeah, I'd switched it off to save battery. You should leave your phone on when you're here alone. Okay, cool. See you later. You seem upset. I'm fine. Is it your sister? Are you thick or something? Oh, get the hint. I thought we could continue our conversation from earlier. <sighs> okay. Let's get something straight here. I'm not your mate. We're not going to be friends at the end of this. So you should be careful about pissing me off right now. Unless you want to see the bottom of that pool. I understand. Good. Donna? This is my knife. You asked me a question yesterday. You could have escaped. What are you still doing here? You wanted to see what it is that I can do. Do you still want to see? Yes. Then loosen my restraints. suspicion you were keeping a secret. I was worried about you. It's not what it looks like. It's just a game. So I followed you down here. Waited outside to see if you'd come out. Oh, please don't freak out. I can fix this. I need to get Emma. Ash, wait! Oh my god, someone stop her! Please, Ash! Stop a second! I can explain everything! Thank you. 